Yo guys, I'm sorry you already know that today we are back playing some more of another crab's treasure. On the last time, we brought the shiny thing to the Duchess, but the Duchess was not in uh, in good shape and kind of turned evil and uh, kind of attacked us. But we defeated her, so I guess that should make us the Duchess now, but uh, I don't really think there's much of a, a land that is being ruled. Is this a new... I think this teacup is new. I'm going to wear this teacup, yeah, because of the new shell. I want to discover all the, the shells if I can. Um, but we need to chase the Lone Shark to a place called New Car Carcina, or Car whatever uh, he said. And um, as suspected, I figured that the uh, the door would open and that would be where we need to go. I want to see if there's something over in this direction first. Just because I am curious. I don't even see any enemies. Looks like we can go this way. But... I think they're both just going to go to the same sort of place. I want to get this crystal. Because crystals are very good. This one looks like it might have more than normal. Yeah, that was pretty good. Alright, let me let me just confirm my suspicions. It doesn't seem to matter whether you go left or right. I think they are mirror images of each other. I don't even see any items or anything. Okay, cool. So I'm not going to bother with that. We're just going to go up and make some progress potentially which is exciting i feel like i'm starting to understand the appeal of this game a little bit more i think i came into this game with like really high expectations um and at first it was not meeting them and now because i've sort of lowered my expectations now it's like really blowing me away with all the different stuff that it has i got a really cool crab attack okay i was just uh doubling back just to sort of clear out everything and make sure i'm not missing any secrets even though i'm probably missing some secrets but it's all good. Either way, I think we're just going to make forward progress. So, ooh. Even the atmosphere is changing a little bit. Probably going to be, like, new enemy types. This is interesting. Okay. But yeah, I, um... So this settings contain an option to prevent you from losing microplastic when you die. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm starting to uh, come around to this game a little bit more. I'm really enjoying my time, and I hope uh, everybody is enjoying this, because I definitely see myself playing this to completion, for sure. Seems like there's, like, side paths to go off, but I don't want to go into the side paths until I explore a little bit further up. What is this? Chip claw. Um, I wonder if we're going to get to this this uh, city or whatever, uh, because the loan shark is trying to sell our house. But I wonder if we're going to encounter some shops that we can finally sell these bread claws and stuff. It's over. It's all over. Why never me, you know? Well, what's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. I'll get my carapace cracked by cruel and feeling forces beyond my control yet again. That's what's going on. I just spent my whole savings on rare trash you can only get in the shallows. So I can sell it at a profit at New Carcina. Carcinia, of course. And then use that profit to trade up uh, my shell. Get myself something nice, you know? And now I come back here and the bridge to the city is completely collapsed. There's no way I can make it back without leaving all this trash behind. It's all over, man. I'm fully shucked. I'll be shellless within the tide. I guess I better find another way around if I want to get to the city. Thanks for the sympathy, pal. <laughs> no problem. So I guess we can't go that way. And that is what is going to force us to go around. I do want to check one thing first. I just thought about it. I was like, can I just like use this from the menu? Okay, I can't. Because um, I was like, if that was something that I was able to do the whole time, I would have felt really silly about just holding onto them and not using them. I wondered if they worked like souls um, or like runes in, in Elden Ring uh, where you can just like consume them and, and get the microplastics. But that does not seem to be the case. There's something shiny up here. What is this? Hello? Stainless relic. Ooh, a workable piece of metal. Maybe someone can turn into something useful. Alright. Maybe. Let's go here. We got ourselves Reef's Edge. Get ourselves a little resting spot. Good stuff, good stuff. I don't think we have enough... Uh, Crystals for the other ability I wanted. I think I need 30 crystals for the ability that I wanted. Sauce Nozzle is new. I'm going to get into it just because it's a new shell discovered, but I actually think that the Tiki Cup is better. It has more defense, same weight, and... Ah, uh, the Morning Buzz takes two charges. I see the little star things there. I hope we can increase the amount of uh, Umami charges that we get in the future. That would be a pretty cool upgrade to get at some point. I want to see what the morning buzz looks like. Oh, is that just like a, a buff to me? 
Didn't seem to be like an attack buff. I don't know what it's doing. Huh. I don't actually know what Morning Buzz does. I might be able to look at the shell collection. I don't know if I can look at my shell collection here. I think I can only do it at the uh, at the, the resting spots. So I'll have to I'll have to see what it actually does because I can't tell. It looks like it was giving me a buff of some sort, but it doesn't seem to be an attack buff. Uh, let's let's swap it out. This actually has more more shell health uh, as well. Got a soda can there. All right, what does this do? Oh, that's pretty cool. Ow. That was less cool. Oh, I thought it ate me. I think I parried it or something? What did I do? Alright, well, we did it. Those things are are hard to uh to fight. Oh, we got a we got another crystal. Alright, so we're at like 27. Oh, a party hat! Okay, defense is lower. Um, but umami attack is up, I think, is what that means. And we can have party time. Sure. Either way. New shells, we got stop detour. This is a pretty cool uh, little little environment here. Alright. Uh, it's party time. <laughs> That's pretty good. Is that cup? No, that might be the shot glass. I was trying to think. I was just like, is that new? I don't know if I properly parried that or not, but I was trying. Okay, so we got a bottle cap. Yeah, we got a shot glass. I do really like the shot glass. I think I'm going to take that. Oh, the shot glass is like no defense, though. That's uh, the trade-off. That makes sense. Okay, do not enter wrong way. I feel like that's actually kind of helping to make sure that I, I'm not going the wrong direction. Take that. Ow. Oh, I think I parried him. I wish I was better at purposeful parries. <laughs> I feel like I keep getting them by accident almost. Okay, we got a barbed hook. Okay, I don't think... I feel like I've been led to a dead end. Ah, wait a minute. There we go. I was like, maybe I can grapple across the gap. And that definitely seems to be the case. Perfection. That was rude. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I was like, blocking that. I was just like, wait, my shell is not there. I can't really block properly. Oopsies. My bad. Um, oh, so I, I do start with a soda can shell. I guess because that's what I had when I first discovered it. I'm not entirely sure. I want to look at my shell collection. I want to see what the... Uh, small blast. A jolt from warm beverage that increases attack speed. Oh, okay. So it increases the attack speed. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, what's better? I guess a soda can is slightly better. I'm going to have to go through again. And we can just do one of these. Oh, oh gosh. I was like, I played enough uh, Souls games in my day to know that you can just run past enemies. No, no, no. See, it's literally that simple. <laughs> oh, gosh. Go! I have my super cool claw attack I should use at some point as well. Take that. No! Okay, I didn't actually take that much damage, all things considered. Okay, bread claw. Alright, where do we go from here? This way? Oh, that's scary. Don't shoot ranged attacks from me or at me, please. Excuse Excuse you? Okay, well I didn't mean to fall what the heck? <laughs> Alright, well I got an achievement. That crab literally just dragged me under from nowhere. That was um a little a little silly.
Alright, we're gonna get here. So now I don't have the, the soda can. I don't I don't fully understand the um how the shell system works in terms of like when you uh like when you get shells or like how do you how did I keep the soda can last time? Nope, you're gonna leave me alone. Whoa! Oh, that crab did literally just spawn from nowhere. Ah, that's where that crab came from. Ow! That's so rude! Okay, I got my shell. Okay, go. Help! What is... Okay. This was the shine for a little bit. I was just like, is this like a different shell? Because it's like a crust soda can, but no, it was not. Alright. Got our stuff back. It's good. I assume we gotta go this way now. Ow. Okay. Ow. Rude. Okay, I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to go down here, pick up this, drop that. Alright, now we have a shortcut there by the pufferfish. That's good. I think we need to climb back up. Okay, okay, then this is the way forward. There we go. See, I don't need to get stuck on, like, areas and stuff, like, too much. Hello. That was incredibly rude. Get out of here. Do not appreciate your long-range stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. You maybe drop that heart thing into the sea. So rude of you. I'm gonna jump over here. Take that. Okay. See, we're good. We're good. Crystal. Oh, and a thing. And a thing. Give it, give it, give it! Oh my gosh. What the heck? Why did it do that to me? That's dumb. That one was dumb. It like, it flung me into the middle of the ocean with like no hope of recovery. I, like I, I didn't have time to orient myself. I didn't know if there was a, a place that I could have um, grappled back to or what. The physics in this game can be a little Silly sometimes. Hello? Speaking of silly physics! Bro! Okay. Seemed to be okay. I guess I didn't count as a death. Okay, so now... I want to try and get my stuff back before I die again. Okay, so we gotta go... No. This is this way. No, no, no. You're gonna leave me alone. Wait. Oh, gosh. Is this even my stuff? I don't think so. Where's my stuff? Can I, like, see it on the, on the map? I don't think so. Maybe I did lose them. Because, I mean, I did lose him in the middle of the ocean. That's... Oh, no, they're over there. Uh, I don't know if I can jump from here or not. Way over there. I think I'm going to do this the safe way. Okay, there, we got you. And then I can just jump from here. Right, because I wanted this crystal. Stop doing that! Bro! This is so stupid. Okay, I think the only reason I died last time is because...
Come on, get out of here. I am so over you throwing me into the middle of the ocean. All I wanted was this crystal. Gosh, okay. Stop! Okay, I, 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 I'm, I'm not a fan of these long-range things. Oh, come on, dude. Dude, oh gosh. I, I, would, I would, like, I want to yell about the platforming, but it's honestly just because of the long-range enemies attacking me with stuff. Uh, that is knocking me off, like, my, my, my course or whatever. So it looks like there is a way there, but I want to go over this way, I think. Because I see a crystal... I wonder if I can go up and around this way. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Come on. Oh, gosh. Alright, hopefully you didn't drop anything too valuable. Because you're off the face of the earth now. Okay, so now I can come over here, get this crystal. Whew! Alright, how much do we have now? 34? We definitely have enough for the skill that I want. Which is really good. We can come back up around here. And keep going up. I would love another uh, moon snail shell resting thing. What is this? What is this? There's a... There's an... There's something up here, for sure. But I don't know if I can... Get to it. Hold on, this looks like a bounce. There we go! Hold up, this is something. What do you have to say? Hey there, pal, do you like going fast? I love going fast. No, I hate it. Well, it's your unlucky day. Because you're gonna need some wicked speed to get over that ramp down there. Walking ain't gonna cut it, neither sprinting even. No, sir. Okay. And that's where I come in. Pablo, five times snail racing league champ at your service. They had to give us snails their own league because we're so damn fast. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how to get speed so insane. Your grandma's antenna will be twisting in her grave. Or maybe she's still alive. Sorry, that was a little insensitive either way. But trust me, this kind of crazy sh movement will peel your gills back. It'll dry your exoskeleton while you're still underwater. It'll boil you into damn shell if you're not careful. And worst of all, it'll turn you into a permanent speed even you can't even form words if you're not moving at high velocity. Are you ready to accept that kind of a risk? Because a lot of people say they are, and before you know it, bam, addicted to speed. See, it happened to a lot of good critters down here. So I gotta ask, over time, you sure? Yeah, why not? Okay, so basically, you're just gonna want to sprint towards the ramp, and then press the block button. Okay. Oh, while sprinting, we can roll. But I kind of want this tennis ball. There we go. Oh, and then I can roll out. I think that's the same thing that the coconut shell had. Uh, I just wanted to see if I could see any, like, special things over there. Because there was an option to go there. Uh, on that platform over there, and it looks like you can climb up. <sighs> okay, no. I thought that might have been a resting location, but no, that is... There might be a special item over there, but I'm willing to forego it. Because that looks like a very high likelihood of me dying. So, we're just going to ignore it. <gasps> no! That was too scary. Let me, let me try that again. It basically had the same... Physics as the rollout. Okay, rude. Rude. There we go. Boing. Alright, that was fun. So I assume I can roll like that anytime. Ah, and then here's uh, our next little checkpoint. Perfect. I'm assuming I can't really go back now, so even if I wanted to go check out that side path, it's a bit late for it now um yeah i can't really just go back so it's okay it is what it is i'm sure there was a special item or something but i will live without it so we're gonna go ahead and rest we are going to go ahead and level up can we level up twice yeah we can level up twice we're going to do an attack and a vitality i think there we go and i think we're just gonna shell port to the Moon Snail's Domain and get this new skill. 
Uh, and then we might just wrap up from there. Cut this a little short, because, I mean, we are making progress, which is pretty good, and that's all that matters. I feel like as long as I'm making progress in any given episode, uh, that is good enough for me. His spirit full to bursting. The hermit crab is ready for more power. I sure am. I want uh, this housewarming thing, uh, because then the shell spell can be cast once for free without using umami charges, which is really good. As uh, the scroll crumbles, all living things yearn for home. For most, the home is a place that no longer exists. For some, it is a place that never existed. Such is the plight of the hermits, forever unsatisfied, forever yearning. Sure. Uh, I did want to see, what were the new abilities that I have? So, like, this is dealing damage to an enemy will restore your recently lost shell health. That's pretty good. That reminds me of the mechanic in Bloodborne, where, like, after you take damage, if you do uh, some, some hits, like, right away, you'll recover some of that health. I think this is a similar concept, uh, except for it's to your shell health and not your actual health. And then this one just increases your MSG by 5, uh, which is also not bad. Um, so, you know, have our eyes on more skills, but we will worry about what skill to get uh, on the next time. I do, I do like this tennis ball. This tennis ball is pretty cool. Let us continue on our way. Yeah, I wonder if these are supposed to be like, if this is, th this must be an order of like how you can encounter it, uh, essentially. Um, even though we encountered like the coconut before the party hat, I, like, if, if we start like filling out this row and these like aren't found, then we might have just missed them. Uh, I don't really know. Maybe they become more common later on because we're still seeing like uh, soda cans and whatnot. I have no idea. But I, I would like to get all the, the shells, but I mean, there's only so much I can do. So I think we want probably city outskirts. Yeah, I think we says which was the last one. Oh, I think from here we're actually going to be almost going right to the city. Because if you look, I can actually look at the, the map here. I can't really explore around it, but, uh, there's that bridge that was broken. It looks like there's a path that goes to maybe a bridge to the city, maybe the entrance to the city. So we might actually be closer to the city than you would think, um, which that would be pretty cool. I'm interested to see what happens next. I would like to get to a shop where I can sell my stuff for microplastics. That'd be pretty sick. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep keeping on, keeping on and doing our thing. So hopefully you've been enjoying and are looking forward to more. If so, let me know, but I'll see you on the next time. So until then, peace out.